uh, what I consider to be two very, very significant individuals that you've already mentioned, uh, Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King and Adam Clayton Powell. And let's see what you uh, know about those individuals and how they fit into what we're trying to do at, at this particular time. Right. Well, in uh, the chapter on the Civil Rights Movement, I take up uh, Dr. King and Adam Clayton Powell as a pillar of cloud and fire. Dr. Um, Dr. King as a pillar of cloud mm -hmm. uh, and, Dr., uh, and, and Adam Clayton Powell as a pillar of fire. And when, when I say pillar of fire, I mean someone who kind of brandished, if you will, uh, his, his, his brashness, a boldness, a certain mm -hmm. radical mm -hmm. nature. Uh, Adam Clayton Powell was uh, very clear in while he was in Congress mm -hmm. that he called himself the baddest Negro in Congress. Yeah, yeah, go That's on right. and, and, <laughs> and, and he he flouted the rules. Mm -hmm. He didn't stomach segregation. Uh, he didn't take kindly to the kinds of the kinds of conventions mm -hmm. that um, that that made African Americans second class. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 part it had to do with his upbringing. Had to do with who he was, um, but it also had to do with I think growing up in Harlem. And uh, be, he really was, I call him, uh, a son of the Harlem Renaissance. He was the new Negro, uh, as I understand it, that the Harlem Renaissance writers had hoped for. Um, he started the first, uh, the first, one of the first boycotts uh, of, the, um, of, 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 the, um, of the public transportation system in Harlem, uh, one of the first uh, sort of public service programs for, at, at his church, at Abyssinia, mm -hmm. uh, Abyssinian uh, Baptist, Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And, um, but it, and by the time he, was, he went to Congress, he was pastoring the largest Protestant congregation in the nation. Um, Adam Clayton Powell is known for his, um, he's not only known for, for his pastoral work, but he's known for the Powell Amendment, mm -hmm. which was, which was a, a, a little known sort of codicil that he would add to every bill that um, that f that that sent funding uh, for for public uh, for, for public accommodations, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it, it was a bill that said if that that public funding could not be used for segregated institutions, mm -hmm. it angered seg Southern segregationists yeah. throughout mm -hmm. the country, but it also angered African Americans mm -hmm. because some of those schools were African American schools in the South. Although they were segregated, they were, they were, also, they were starved mm -hmm. because they also needed the public mm -hmm. funding. Mm -hmm. But Clayton Powell and Clayton Powell didn't care. What he was concerned about was ensuring that those who wanted segregation had to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And so he starved them all to death mm -hmm. until he was able to get the, the Civil Rights Bill in 1964. That was his victory mm -hmm. in, uh, in the, the Civil Rights Bill of 64. Um, he was there when uh, ba ba Linda Baines Johnson signed it, and s but so was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. And King, who was, uh, now these, they were both princes of the Black Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. um, and Clayton Powell had um, gone to, um, had, um, you know, attended uh, school in New York. Mm -hmm. um, his father, uh, his, his father in many ways had groomed him to be a prince of the Baptist church. Uh, Martin Luther King. As Dr. King. As Dr. King's father. <laughs> Both Good. his father, at, uh, um, his father pastored Abyssinian, mm -hmm. while Dr. King's father pastored Ebenezer. Mm -hmm. And, um, they, they both groomed their sons for, for the roles that they would take. Uh, they both went to, um, went, went to elite schools, uh, Morehouse College in the South, and they both were products of the black middle class. But where they differed, I think, was um, Martha, Dr. King grew up in the segregated South, uh, born right at, at um, 1929, uh, just as, as, as America was going into the Great Depression. And um, Dr. King saw a different and a brutal side of white segregationist Good. power. Um, and it was something that I don't think Adam Clayton Powell saw. That shaped Dr. King mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> in a way that, it probably, that, that Adam Clayton Powell didn't And get. led to his assassination. Yes, and, mm -hmm. led, to, and mm -hmm. led to his assassination, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, in a sense, both of them were assassinated. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. King, uh, literally. Good. Uh, Adam Clayton Powell was politically destroyed because of his brashness. Mm -hmm. um, so what I find with, um, now, both of them come at a time when African-Americans have, 
have migrated. And I think this is also important mm -hmm. to make the making mm -hmm. of these two figures. Um, African Americans began to migrate immediately after, um, after the Civil War. Uh, every 10 years you look at the census, you see more and more African Americans mm -hmm. migrating toward the West and toward the North, what you, uh, except for the 10 years during the Depression when you don't see much mm -hmm. migration. But you see, and so African Americans migrated from rural communities in the South to, um, to um, cities in the South like Montgomery and Atlanta that created the possibility for a Montgomery bus boycott, mm -hmm. but also created the possibility for an Abyssinian Baptist church, which, which was Adam Clayton Powell's political base, mm -hmm. and which became for Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. the base for the Montgomery bus boycott mm -hmm. and Ebenezer. Mm -hmm. And so um, as these two figures began to interpret the biblical text, uh, they began to, they thought of, they thought of the Exodus story at, for, um, for Adam Clayton Powell, the Exodus story guaranteed for African Americans uh, in, his, in, his, uh, in his sermon, Stop Blaming Everyone Else, which he, um, uh, which he preached at Abyssinian Baptist Church in the 50s. It was a sermon that invited African Americans to fully participate in what it 